Hi, welcome to the flipped classroom on activities and intents. So I'm going to start out by just running the app, uh, the version that actually works. So, um, you yeah, know, we just have a little uh, exit thing here, which which actually works. Boy, that's exciting. Uh, we have a list of high scores. You're supposed to enter your name. So uh, we'll enter our name if you hit turn that's not good enough you actually have to click play that takes you to this screen where we're going to guess the number and this um, soft keyboard pops up and it's kind of a pain so we're going to put it down and then we're going to do um, uh, binary search so 50 is too high let's do 30 too high Let's do 10, huh, too high, 5, whoa, 1 is correct, um, okay, and it, uh, we're back here, Fred Flintstone, Fred Flintstone is now on the high score list in, in the proper place. If uh, you're debugging your stuff and it's bothering you, um, I, you just have to have a username that starts with hint, and I like that hint uh, gets completed to hint of sarcasm. Um, and then it says, see, the number is nine. So, um, but ju just to give you a, a sense up here, the number of guesses is zero, maximum score is uh, 10,000. <coughs> so if we, um, we guess, uh, we guess, what now we've one guess and we have our maximum score i guess was, was a thousand now it's 985 blah 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 this this continues um well, let's make one more incorrect guess so yeah you can see uh eventually this number goes down more quickly uh, it doesn't really matter okay and that this this is a toast it's popping up and you notice it said the toast said correct and then it sort of hung out for a little while it's a, a little while is actually two seconds you know hint of sarcasm is up on the high score list at 600 okay so let's take a look at the code because there's a fair amount of code that you don't have to modify but you should probably understand so we give you the layouts and I'm not going to go over the layouts they're pretty straightforward. Um, there's a list view here, which you've never seen before. We're only going to get to next week, but they're super useful and we don't use it in any super interesting way. This is just a linear layout with, you know, a little linear layout down here. So nothing that, that should blow your mind. We're using a little center horizontal layout gravity. So that's that's kind of nice and another nested linear layout here but nothing super special okay so what's going on in here first of all we have this companion object again so these are class local variables that are constants and we're just going to use these to make sure that everybody uses the same string constants in our program here high score is a class variable and it's a, a mutable list and here we have an inner class uh, we haven't seen i don't think we've seen one of these yet and you can actually uh you can call a, a class an inner class uh and then it gets a reference to the outer class and you can refer to things in the outer class we don't need to do that so we're going to keep it simple we're just going to make it an, an internal uh, a, a nested class so it's a class that's declared inside another class and it's just a, a name and a score and a, a two string function which formats it so we'll see that later on okay on create standard stuff and then we have a list of scores and if you notice uh, I put Frank Zappa with a score of 997 in front of a student with a score of 997 and you'll see later we're going to uh, sort our high score list by score and then within the score alphabetically Kotlin makes that really easy and that's what is going to happen in render high scores and then we're setting a uh, on-click listener on the play button and we'll, we'll play 
Here's some uh, code to handle the menu. Nothing special. If we see the, if the exit is clicked, we uh, we stop our activity. Okay, add high score is not used because um, you haven't written the code to use it. Um, but we just uh, add a score to our high score list and then render it. And render just means sort everything and send it to the list adapter. Um, I'm not going to go over this code because we're going to go over lists in glorious detail uh, next week. But this is the the one line that just, I mean, if, if that doesn't make you fall in love in, with Kotlin, then I, I don't know, then I don't know what will because God, that's, I've, I've done this kind of thing in a lot of programming languages, and this is uh, the most elegant uh, way I've ever seen it. So we sort with compare by descending score and then by name. I mean, the code just reads really well. Okay, yeah, and if, and if you noticed, is, is it still up there? Yeah, uh, well, if, if you noticed uh, when we played the game, uh, even though Frank Zappa is comes in the list before a student. A student is listed uh, in front of Frank Zappa. Okay, uh, you're going to fill this in. Uh, this uh, checks to make sure that the user has uh, given up a, a name. And uh, uh, if that name is empty, it sends a toast. Otherwise, it launches guessing game. Um, I guess I didn't, I didn't demo that. So let's... Uh, so if I just hit play, oh, name cannot be empty. That's my toast. Okay. Uh, yeah, and this is gonna build an intent and start this. This is our guessing game. We have a bunch of uh, variables. And here we actually do the toast in sort of a fancy way. Uh, we uh, enclose it in a function and the reason we do this is to be able to cancel a previous toast because we let the toast hang around for a long time, which is three and a half seconds. The short time is two seconds. And if these toasts overlap, it's kind of confusing. So we cancel the previous toast. So if you're guessing quickly, uh, it will get rid of the, the previous evaluation of your guess. Okay, you need to uh, initialize current user from what main activity passed you, and then, you know, the number of guesses, and we, we guess a random number, and, and whatever, we, we do some stuff here. Um, oh, we check to see if uh, your username starts with hint and uh, ignoring the case, and if so, we tell you what the answer is. And then we set an onclick listener on the guess button. The guess button says, hey, uh, if there's no no number, there's no guess. Otherwise, let's grab the guess, uh, print it using this integer dot parse int routine, and then we have this when statement. It's sort of a Kotlin switch statement. So when the guess is lower than the answer, we say too low. When it's higher, we say too high. And if it's correct, we say it's correct. And then we do this funny thing where we delay finishing the game for two seconds. And uh, this is a coroutine, which is a lightweight thread. And we're gonna talk about these sort of more and more. Uh, you've already seen them if you've looked in the code for timer in your homework. But it's uh, used in a simple way. This is a, a global thread that just waits for two seconds, these millis 2,000 milliseconds, two seconds, and then uh, calls finish game. Uh, and then we return. So we don't update the guess count. We don't change the, the display text. If we have an incorrect guess, we do increase the number of guesses. We print out how many guesses you've used. We print out what your maximum possible score is. This is the compute score function, which is just some stupid thing I came up with. And then uh, this thread is going to call finish game. You need to write that, which is going to return information to main activity, which called, uh, which you're going to call uh, guessing game using set uh, 
start activity for result, and here you are going to override on activity result. Okay. And I just have a, a little note here because it was one of these things that bit me. I um, had an on activity result function, and instead of data being an intent question mark, it was uh, just an intent. And then you get an error from the compiler saying that this is, uh, uh, function does not override anything in the parent. And the reason it's telling you that is because unless this, this uh, type signature matches exactly, then it's not a valid override. So just something to be aware of. So and this is correct. We're calling the super on activity result, and then you need to, to figure out what to do here. Okay, so there'll be a, a handout for this, and good luck.